So for this video, the idea was me going to Trader Joe's and getting stuff that I thought actually looked good. When I go to Trader Joe's, I'm always like, I wanna get this, I wanna get this, I wanna get that, I wanna get this. But I never do because it's like, I'm gonna end up wasting it probably. But now I have an excuse because it's for a YouTube video. Like, it's such a blessing. When you do walk through Trader Joe's, there's just so many things you do want to taste and try. So I'm excited for getting the chance to do it. I remember I actually watched Snooki one time do a whole Trader Joe's haul. Being a busy mom of three, I don't really have time to cook, nor do I know how to cook. So Trader Joe's is my jam. Or said like it's so easy, like a lot of stuff is microwavable. And, like, I watched I that too. <laughs> <laughs> I spent 52 dollars. Though we see someone here, it's 52 dollars something. First of all, on the top of the bag, we have these <laughs> fresh lamb bootin, lamb bootin. Yeah, fresh lamb bootin. I'm not gonna lie, this grosses me out so much. Why are they hairy? I've never seen this, this is new to me. So it's these hairy balls, and then you cut them open and there's a white inside. I've never had it. Do you though. eat the hair? No, you cut it open. Sweet and juicy. It looks like something from the ocean. It looks like a testicle. Trader Joe's invented this, let's just be real. It's just it's fake, it's not even fun though. <laughs> it's not from nature. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure he just cut off the outside. <gasps> Whoa! Are you this kidding? Is, this is so fun. I feel like we're in like a dinosaur land. Okay. Is that oh, was I supposed to do that? Oh, it's supposed to be a cute little bow, but you know. I know there's somebody watching this who like eats these every day and who eats these every day and thinks they're being so dramatic. <gasps> oh my day. How kind of taste like a grape? <laughs> I mean, it's good. When I go to Trader Joe's again, I'm not gonna be like. I need to get these. It's just a little bit of a hassle to eat, but it is fun. Are you gonna recommend to the moms? Oh, we should recommend. I actually would recommend this to the moms across the USA. Just yeah. because I feel like it'd be fun for the kids to do. Yeah, I'm gonna recommend it because it is kind of fun. And you could, lie, you could lie to your kids that's a dinosaur thing. Oh, I got plain yoga. This obviously isn't exciting. I got it because there's this stuff that I've never heard of. That's called Mussolini. Muesli. So it basically just looks like oatmeal with raisins and coconuts. I didn't oh. know. What... Have you heard of it? No, I'm just I'm saying oh because I thought Mussolini was muesli. Like a new, like a new like texture or something. You know, like a new oat. That's what you call it when you mix those things together, right? Oh yeah, it's not anything. But it, is, it is cool they called it that though, because it makes you want to buy it. I realized that it's for yogurt. You add this to yogurt, and it's supposed to, and you let it sit for five minutes, and then it tastes really good somehow. Oh my god, what does it do for the five minutes? It just permeates? I'm guessing it just gets soft. Oh. Let's try it. Oh, it smells good. It smells like rotten cereal. Mmm, that's good. The only thing about it is that there's no sugar in this recipe that we're making. The, the yogurt's plain and this has no sugar either, so I think it's supposed to like add honey or something, but we don't have that. I just wonder if it'll just taste like so plain Jane. It probably will, but I'm still excited. If you guys were wondering, um, I'm gonna like keep this food, and for this I'm probably just gonna make oatmeal with it. Add it to a smoothie? Yeah, I'll add it to a smoothie. I probably won't add it, it to yogurt. It has 10 grams of protein. Shit. So we're gonna let this sit and then we're gonna try the next thing. Um, there is one critique though. What? So this is one of my pet peeves. When you order a bag, and it won't shut again. Oh, uh, It's wait, supposed it to won't? stick shut. What the, uh... Trader Joe's, get it together. Me and Lucas have a series that has been... has a lot of notoriety around it. I know it's actually very humble that you're even introducing it. It's like when you meet the biggest celebrity and they introduce themselves. It's like, you don't have to say your name, Madonna. Everyone knows. I know <laughs> like it's you don't even have to introduce it, but it's humble that you did that. I know, I just wanna, you know, I wanna seem like a good yeah. person. I don't think we've ever tried goat milk. Have we? And I'm just- I, so we, I don't think we have, we probably have, but I mean, wouldn't that have been in it? I feel like we haven't, but maybe I just have memory last. Hopefully I don't have memory last, I'm only 20. Surprisingly enough, this isn't Trader Joe's blend. I know, I was shocked, it says 
since 1934. This is some fox if you guys wanted to know. Easier to digest than cow milk. A lot of people say cow milk makes their stomach cold. More potassium than cow milk. And then the rest is kind of dumb, like gluten free. Like it seems like everything is gluten free nowadays. I don't like. Oh, I feel like I don't. I'm not into that. Oh, if you fake. are, it's fine. But that's all fake. <laughs> I'm just kidding. America's <laughs> number one goat milk. I mean, like <laughs> I don't know if I'm just being a hater. But that's probably pretty easy to do, right? <laughs> 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 but that's so funny that they've been doing this for so many decades. So like their parents, their parents' parents, like everyone in this family just touches goat's nipples all day. I know at like, this point, doing... like, do they have children that are pout goat? I know, like they're a gank in the nips. This sounds really ignorant, but since I never have had goat milk, it grosses me out. Does it gross you out? There's a reason I'm excited. I don't know why. That's a white as a... Okay, did they put dye in this? White as a... What's like a good, um, a good metaphor? Um, white as your grandma's cheeks. Oh yeah, white as your grandma's butt cheeks. <laughs> Cheers. It smells weird. That's weird. It tastes so different than normal milk. It tastes sour. I know, to me it tastes like rotten. But in like a healthy way. I Is it overdue? <laughs> no, it's not, I checked. Oh yeah, just... Taste over, it tastes like, I've had this before. Like when I've had overdue milk in the past. Yeah, I was expecting it to basically taste the same as cow milk, but it's a whole other lump. I do kind of like it though. Like something about it is just fun. But it literally tastes like rotten milk. This I am going to recommend to every family across the world. Because, uh, I mean like, it'd be good to add to cereal. It'll expand your household's horizons. You I've guys always, need to try some goat milk. Yeah, I've always thought that it's good to, um, to like, try a little bit of everything in life. Uh-huh. Try yeah. everything once. Do do do. Soy chorizo. Oh my, I've actually wanted to try this. I've heard about it for probably two years on every vegan video, vegan post, they always say, Soy chorizo from Trader Joe's is so good. Cause it's spicy, right? Yeah, and like people add it to pasta, eggs, everything. Honestly, I've been wanting to try this. I'm actually very excited. So, I love sausage. So we're just gonna eat it, but like cold. Is that fine? Yeah. I mean, it's made out of plants, so it can't be. It's made out of like see. tofu, probably. Yeah, it's fine. Why do they say you have to cook it to 165? That's like for me, but whatever. Oh, yes. Ew. This is getting everywhere, guys. It's because we didn't cook it. I'm not kidding, this is so good. Oh, guys, it looks like I'm eating shit. That is like so good. I mean, it'd be way better if you cooked it, but yeah. Adding this to like a burrito would be so good. Yeah, I love this. I'm getting a napkin. You want one? Oh, yes. It's living up to the hype. It actually tastes a little bit like cheese. One main taste I got is mayonnaise. Yeah, I tasted that too. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or what, but. Because that's vegan, so it obviously isn't mayonnaise. Honestly, I really liked it. We, we're recommending it, right? Mm. If you work as a PE teacher, we're recommending it to you. Mm. Next up, we have our first microwavable meal. This is stuffed eggplant parmesan. For some reason, it caught my eye. I love eggplant parmesan. I used to always get it at Olive Garden. I don't know when the last time I had it, but it sounds good as well. Yeah, the best part is the cheese. This is gonna be good. <laughs> so, um, we're gonna nuke this. Turns out the eggplant parmesan takes seven minutes to cook. I'm used to these banquet dinners that take three minutes to cook. Honestly, Trader Joe's, who has the time? Not me, <laughs> but we're still gonna eat it. So while we're waiting, we're gonna try the musabini lini. Muesli. Oh, I'm so excited to try the musabana. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm excited too. <laughs> I just don't have high hopes, but like, I don't wanna have bad vibes. I mean, it's for sure gonna be boring. Like, <laughs> I guess it's not like we're trying something revolutionary. I kind of like it. Maybe you wouldn't need I do wish I had just something. I know, like, guys, this is literally the plainest shit ever because we got no <laughs> vanilla or anything. But, like, every now and then you bite into a raisin and it does taste good. Um, it's basically gonola, but, like, healthier. I mean, I'm not a dietitian, but I'm guessing. Also, I'm just guessing the five minutes didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> like, what would it have done? Would you recommend? I have nothing to gain from it, but I'm gonna recommend it because it's, it's, it's like interesting. That being said, I actually am gonna eat the Mussolini. Muesli. With like, oh, 
Like use it as an oatmeal, basically. What I would do is I would add it into a smoothie with a bunch of fruit and stuff, so it would, you don't really taste it that much, but you get all the benefits of all the nuts and stuff. Nuts have a lot of benefits. Oh! We have two more microwavable things, and you might as well just get these out of the way too. Vegan mac, which what, which I don't know where I hold this, but I hold like it's like so effing good. Yeah, I actually feel like this is gonna hit. I love any type of macaroni. And then cauliflower pancakes. I have two bullet points to make. First of all, why does everyone love cauliflower nowadays? <laughs> Second of all, don't call it pancakes if it's savory. You put sour cream and green onions on it. Ew! What? Dumb. But why do you think people love cauliflower? Because it's like green. It's supposed green. to be the whole thing. You have cauliflower rice and it's just the same. I it's tried it once. It's not the same. It just tastes like cut up cauliflower. Like for some reason I thought they'd be able to do something where it would taste like rice. But it literally was just, I'm eating cauliflower cut up. It's That's like, what I don't ugh. get. But obviously there's people out there who love it. Cause like, why did they keep expanding? For the rest of our life, we will never, cauliflower will always be a thing. It'll appear in every dish. So we're gonna cook these now. It's officially dinner time in this household. Time to munch. <laughs> Let's start with the um, stacked eggplant parmesan because this was the first thing we microwaved. Oh, it's so good. So first of all, it smells like, I know this sounds so funny, but it smells like an Italian restaurant. <laughs> and then we went upstairs and like, it was filling the whole upstairs area. It smelled so much like onion too. I know like, an onion's a good smell. Yeah, I love, I actually love onion. Is it so hot? Mm-mm. Oh, mm, mine's so hot. Is it good? It's actually so good, just like Olive Garden. Which I mean, some people might be grossed out by that, but like, I love Olive Garden. I just don't wanna bone my precious tongue, guys. Would you mistake it for regular, regular lasagna? <laughs> lasagna. <laughs> no, eggplant just has a specific taste. We're like, it's so good though. Just douse it in cheese. Yeah, it is really good. Oh, it has like pesto in it too, guys. That's why it tastes so good. I fucking love pesto. It literally is so good. Yeah, this is delicious. I'm just gonna keep munching. Like, I don't have anyone else that this, but it's like actual eggplant. It's not um, plastic. It is weird like this. So this is like the same vegetables, the eggplant emoji that like, you know what I mean? You use as a dick? Yeah, but like, it looks so wide. Okay, this is like, the... like this big of an eggplant. So like, if you were straight in eating this, it means that you're gay. Oh yeah, you're pretty much putting a dick in your mouth. I know, it's like, you can just do it in real life, I swear I won't judge you. This is so hard to cut though, guys. I know, that's the one con. Like, I, if you eat this, maybe use scissors. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this is my shit they talk about in the movies. It literally is so good. <laughs> I've already said that so many times about this one thing. It's so annoying. I mean, it doesn't even have to be said. We're recommending it yeah, to all, all the people that are watching all this. All the cheese at the bottom. Buy it for your English teacher. What 100%. Fuck? Sorry, there's a bunch of shit on my hand. Yeah, next we have a cauliflower cake, which, pancake, which honestly I don't know how you'd usually eat this, but we're just gonna eat it plain. Yeah, the photo, like you said, showed the sour cream and stuff, but whatever. It has green, it has like butch green onion or something in it. I know we were talking so much shit earlier, but this actually tastes like potato. Do you get that weird flavor though? I'm just in shock because it actually tastes like a hash brown. I just a little bit of sweat though. <laughs> I don't know if I'm getting it. I'm tasting some sweat. This in the toaster would be better. Yeah, that's true. It'd be more crispy. Crunchy. Maybe the directions actually said that. I didn't even look at the directions. Stove top or convention, <laughs> conventional oven. It didn't even say to cook it in the microwave, but that's I'm what so we good. did. Do you know if we don't recommend this? Um, let me see. I mean, it might be split on this one, but you cannot recommend it. We can recommend it for if you want a boring day. If you're boring, mm. then get this. I'm not boring. But some people are. So I guess we're recommending it to every fam <coughs> family across the world. I take back everything I said about cauliflower. I'm now team cauliflower. I'm not. And I probably never will be. I like cauliflower, but I'm just not, I'm just not for the idea of popularizing it bigger than anything else in the whole entire world. Lastly, we have the vegan mac, which I'm most excited for. Yes. To be honest, it looks quite 
It doesn't look like actual mac and cheese. I've it looks never had bad. vegan mac and cheese that tastes like mac and cheese yet. Well, that one, um, Deo one, well, it just is like- Oh, that one kind that of- That one does taste like real mac and cheese. But you know when you make it at home and it always, it always tastes good, but it never tastes like mac and cheese. Yeah, it sounds, yeah, it tastes different. So this has butternut squash, coconut milk, because I know that a lot of vegan mac and cheese is made with cashews, but I don't know if this has that. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't taste like mac and cheese. It tastes like alfredo. To me, it tastes like chicken dumpling soup. <laughs> Dude, there's like a cinnamon flavor deep down. It does! Like, deep down, that's like a sweetness that's weird. So this doesn't taste anything like mac and cheese. I would compare it most to alfredo. Yeah, it doesn't taste anything like mac and cheese, if that's what you're hoping, but it is still really good. Yeah, I'm still gonna recommend it because it's something like interesting. Mm -hmm. It is crazy though, because they've gotten everything else down, like vegan burgers, vegan hot dogs, but like vegan mac and cheese, they still haven't nailed. We recommended everything so far. Are we being too nice? I don't think we are is the thing. Yeah, to be honest, I would never get the vegan mac again, but like I see why it would be good if you were vegan, you know? But we're still recommending it. Yeah. <gasps> Next we have some carrot juice. Organic carrot, carrot juice to be exact. Um, I just got this because I wanted to see what it tasted like. I haven't ever had carrot juice by itself. Neither. Also, the only ingredient is carrot juice. If you drink this every morning and hold that like, <laughs> you turn into Gwyneth Paltrow. I know, has carrot juice had a moment yet? Remember celery juice? You know in a year people are gonna say, <laughs> okay, I had, I was stressed about traffic every day on my way to work, but then I drank carrot juice and somehow I got lifted up. And it cleared my skin. Cheers. Yeah, skin, sorry, here. Oh, I thought you were just oh, gonna sorry. make fun of me and say, you have a rose well it's on your chin. <laughs> Cheers, the color's delicious. It tastes like carrots. That's, I mean, what did <laughs> I expect? <laughs> and I just don't like you'd ever drink this. I mean, it probably does something. I don't think there's anything like bad in it. But like, does it still have the fiber and stuff? No, it has no fiber. So all the fiber is taken out. It still has vitamins. <sighs> yeah, I just don't vibe with it. Carrots aren't good enough to drink juice of them. Whoever, who's ever asked for carrot juice? Also, this is a personal thing. But some days I make a smoothie with like fruit and sometimes I add vegetables into it and one day I added carrots into it. And for hours after, I felt so sick. So now it's reminding me of that. Ew. I like carrots, but this is grossing me out. One thing it does have going for it is the color. I'm not a kid and I love the color. Yeah, something about drinking that color like is good. Well, not recommending it though, right? Yeah, do not buy this and we should all boycott it. <laughs> do not buy it. <laughs> Next I got Sriracha baked tofu. Um, we aren't gonna try this. I just got it because I've had this before and I like oh, it. Oh, it's gonna be a review. I just got it because I was there. Um, oh. it's, the baked tofu is good and also if you guys are wondering, the sriracha is the most light sriracha ever. Like, it's not spicy at all. I was gonna ask you, like, is it like sweat spice or no? No. It's good though, um, I just got it because I wanted some more. Oh, thank you. Uh, three layer hummus. This is one of those products I've never heard anyone talk about. Three layers, what are they? Cilantro, jalapeno, and spicy, I don't know. If anyone was curious, this is a week later. I've had the hummus dip multiple times and I found out what the three layers are. Oh. Hummus, tahini, and like a spicy jalapeno thing and it's so good. So good. Okay, bye. But I also got jicama sticks. Have you had these? No, what is this? So it's this vegetable that I don't, I don't know what the vegetable looks like, but- It looks like a potato. It, yeah, it kind of does. One of my friend's moms cut this one time and had this at their house, and I remember being like, oh my gosh, it's so cool. And then I, and then I think it's, it's like, it's not, it doesn't taste like anything. It just is like kind of fun. Oh, like celery kind of? Yeah, and then we can dip it in the hummus. Oh, perfect. I do have some beef with layered dips. Why? For some reason they stress me out. I'd rather it all just be mixed together. Oh, because you can't get one of everything in yeah, every bite. Yeah, it stresses me out. I, I do get where you're coming from. Uh, uh. We don't have any drama with Trader Joe's, but the vegan mac and cheese was also ha had to open it and had the same lid. Was there a manufacturing error? What? Should we just do this? Yeah, and then cut through. 
Okay. I am glad we're supporting hummus because hummus used to be that girl. Hummus used to be cauliflower. Oh, it did, yeah. Yeah, it was always the go-to. Do you want to be healthy? Eat hummus. You know what I mean? Do you like hummus though? It is good. Yeah, I, I like hummus too. It's not like, yeah, it's good. Um, I guess we can just, I can barely open it. <laughs> you know, this little hole. First, I want to try this on its own. It is oh. kind of fun, you know? I kind of like a crunchy. I actually do like that. It's interesting. Yeah, I think I got one of everything. Mmm. The spicy jalapeno is kind of good. This makes me realize like why I'm excited for hummus. I understand why I ever was that girl. And I do understand it. It's so good. I love getting this one layer though. Am I missing something? That's what I was wondering. I've only had two layers. Oh, I think it's, um, it's a little bit of cilantro. Oh, that's a layer, sis. <laughs> I guess so. They need to stop. Also, I realized today I love jicama. You're recommending both, right? Uh, strongly. Like, buy today. Leave your house right now, because like, when this video's been up for over four hours, they'll be sold out across the nation. That's the thing, guys. So, you bought a whole and rush. You actually should be really stressed right now watching this. We sell out stuff. I got so much stuff, guys. We sell, like, five more things. <sighs> and I'm actually full. I know, same. How am I full, though? Except, in my mind, I feel like we haven't eaten that much. The next thing I got was... Honeycrisp apple cider. Because I thought it was the most hilarious thing that... They didn't sell apple juice. They sold one specific type of apples, juices. Oh, okay. I am mad though because one of our sisters always raves about Golden Delicious apples. When I was at this Trader Joe's, I thought she always raved about Honeycrisp, but then I asked our mom, what does this sister always talk about? Because, because I was gonna call her up and say, I found those apple juice that's flavored like ap this apple. Yeah. Golden Delicious, and it, Golden Delicious, and it's not Honeycrisp, but I'm still excited to try it because people say Honeycrisp is so good too. The only memory I have of drinking apple cider, I remember drinking hot apple cider at school for some reason and hating it. I thought it had alcohol in it. Like, I'm so confused. Like, have you ever had hot apple cider? No. It is just not right. Okay. I hate shit like this. Like, how do you oh, pour it? Oh, you have to do this. Oh, a little bit of carrot juice mixed in. That's all I want. I think another one of our sisters, it sounds like we have like 20 sisters. We have six, <laughs> sis five sisters. But um, another one of our sisters um, always says, Honey Crisp is, is, is like her favorite apple. Okay, they all have like very strong preferences with apples. Oh, it's actually good. I'm not gonna lie, it's better than actual apple juice. Honey crisp is good. It tastes like apple juice but with a little bit of pie in it. I get like an apple pie vibe. Ooh, I get that too. The only ingredient is apple juice, if you were wondering. It's actually really good. How do they make it taste like that? This is like effing good. I will be honest, I'm never gonna drink this because I just don't like, would never drink apple juice. Neither. I thoroughly enjoyed it and it brought me joy, but I'll never do it again. And, and it has no negative effects or anything. Let's I just, let's just not wanna... recommend it though. Yeah, I don't want it in my life. Like if that was in my fridge, I'd be mad. Yeah, and I honestly feel like it's the type of thing where like, it made me mad. And then, you know when something is negative and it changes you and you have to unpeel the layer to go back to the rig? You know oh yeah, you? you might never get back to the rig. Yeah, because like, I want to get back to the rig. <laughs> No, I don't like it. Um, next up we... What the F? Was something <laughs> leaking in there? <laughs> it's soggy. What the F leaked in there? I think it's probably just the frozen stuff melted or something, right? Oh, that's true. When I bought the Trader Joe's, I always wanted to get this, but I just never did because I was like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to eat them though. But this is... Here's the joke. This coconut brings chocolate on a date bows. <laughs> because like, oh! dates... It's a good date, because like date date. I do love dates. Nature sugar. I know. Back like when I was vegan for a month, I remember just being like, dates are everything. I would add them to so many things. It makes everything so sweet. Yeah, it really does. Adding them to a smoothie changes everything. So this has five ingredients. Dates, almond butter, coconut, unsweetened chocolate, and cocoa powder. Oh. So, um, there's like a bunch of date bows. There's lava bows. I'll, I'll X bows made with dates. I, I love the texture of these types of bars. Yeah, they're kind of like brownie. Yeah, it's kind of like moist when you open it. Wait. This actually tastes like a brownie. What the hell, guys? This is so good. It literally tastes like a brownie. I love this. Oh! <laughs> this is what they talk about in the movies. <laughs> Holy F. Mean, Why do we eat regular brownies ever? This is better. Might as well get stuff that has dietary fiber. This has 
14 plus hot. That means that you're gonna shit. This Good. is like delicious. I love it. And the little bit of coconut just adds. I know, usually I don't like coconut, but I do now. Honestly, so good. It tastes so good. I'm gonna recommend that you buy five boxes of this because just a little insider thing, um, everything's gonna go out of stock soon. So buy this. <laughs> There's gonna be a shortage of this soon. Buy five of them. Dates are going out of stock. Oh! Oh, sexual. Dried baby bananas. Baby bananas? I love how they're invented shit. And fill them. They're like soft. They don't oh even like God. dried. Like usually dried bananas are like crunchy. My pants are what? Oh wait, this is so weird. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> These gross me out in a good way. They're fucking good. Oh, I love this. How are they gonna so small? I know, is this like nacho, guys? I don't know. For some reason, eating this dried fruit reminded me of, I don't know what teacher it was, but some teacher like ruined my dreams of dried fruit. Remember I like was into dried fruit for a second, just randomly like in middle school or something? Yeah. And then a teacher made me feel dumb for eating it. She's like, that's not for old people. That's like what, like grandma and grandpa is eating stuff. <laughs> then I never got it again, because I was like, it's embarrassed. <laughs> what were you eating, like prunes? I think I was eating like a thing of like dried, like mixed fruit. <laughs> <laughs> They ruined it for you. I so. know, they literally ruined it for me. That one comment changed the whole course of my life. These are another good um, dessert, I guess. I love them. They're so effing sweet. This is what Trader Joe's thrives in, the snack market. They're just a snack company. Oh. This isn't a joke, by the way. I actually <laughs> want to try it. Um, it's Toki recipe cat food. <laughs> I'm scared to eat this. The reason why I got it was because I, I just want to know what these cats are failing because I view it as a luxury cat. If you're gonna your cat Trader Joe's food, it means that you like, you just like want to treat them really well. So I want to see what these cats are failing like. You don't have to eat it if you don't want to. Part of me is just scared. Like I feel like I'm gonna be eating like a cat or something, even though I know that's not what it is, but it's gross. No, me it just out. is Toki and like. Remember oh, we did a whole shit. video eating dog food? Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that's so that's so many years ago. It looks exactly like Fancy Feast. So I was thinking about feeding this to our, our cat and see how she reacts, but I'm just selfish. Yeah, I'm too scared to eat that. You are? Okay. I'm gonna grab like a good amount. Like I'd say that's a good amount. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Um, it just tastes like canned tuna. If this wasn't labeled as pot food and it was labeled as like, as like canned turkey, no one would be grossed out by it. Oh, isn't there canned chicken? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say, um, I mean, I don't like it. I mean, like it wasn't, it's not made for humans, but. Would they be able to like get away with feeding it to their kids if they want to save a little bit of money? No, and the other thing is, is that I feel like it probably tastes the same as Fancy Feast, but maybe it has butter ingredients, I don't know. Well, um, I'm gonna recommend it if you're a cat owner. I'm not a cop, but like, no, actually I probably, well, I'll pop cop because like, um. Evolution. Yeah, evolution. This is the end of the Trader Joe's Hal extravaganza. I learned a lot of things and I truly mean that. I have a few things that I love now. Thank you for letting me be a part of this. I just gotta live out my Trader Joe's fantasy. Best lunch ever. Aww. This is only 5% of the Trader Joe's fantasy. This, oh. There could literally be 20 videos about this. Oh yeah, if there's anything we missed, comment below. Cause I wanna do this again. You can subscribe to both of us. Um, yeah, be a Trader Joe's person. Um, goodbye, Zoe. Bye.